Footsteps Education Center, but now it's Footsteps Feeding Scheme that started the soup kitchen, I think the first week of lockdown, but I was just cooking for the parents and the children that I know that they don't have anything to eat at home. I didn't know who told who, who, told who so I just saw my life is becoming long and long. And I started to love what I'm doing because as much as I have ECD, I like to work with my community and the children. And then I started to cook and to be honest, I struggled a lot to have something to cook for so many people. From 20 children to 150, from 150 to 320. So that's how many people that I am feeding every day. I wake up very early in the morning from 5 o'clock. Yeah, there's two big pots. One of this pot we cook rice. 10 kg of rice for one day. The second pot, it will be pilchard, tomatoes and onion. Next, pilchard, cans, cans of pilchard and six cans of baked beans. And then we put the um, um, tomato paste, charcoal paste, and then the meat together. During the lockdown, nobody was working, which means there was no income to the most of the families. And then some of the people go back to work, but most of the people, they lose their job. So in order for them to have something to eat is to come and chew to the soup kitchen. So there's a big need of feeding the families that they don't have anything to eat during the day. Yes, I understand that it won't be enough for during the day and for afternoon at home, but it's better than nothing. And sometimes they, we are turning them back home because we run out of food. As much as we are trying to cook, as much as we can, sometimes it, it's not enough. I feel like I'm not doing enough. Although I don't know what I can do more. When the people, we tend the people with no food. When we, we don't have uh, some stock to cook for the people, it's also breaking my heart a lot. I love my community. This community is a very welcoming place and the people are warm. We know our community. We are all different cultures. The reason why the, our community is supposed to get a proper food, in order to be strong, you must have food. So this food is really also giving that dignity of our, ourselves, who we are.